All right, good morning guys. I am at work right now, so I'm gonna do a quick video while I have an opportunity. So what I'm gonna look at is, uh, let's start with showing what Bitcoin's been doing over the last little while and talk about it. So let's go to the four hour. Oh, let me, uh, yeah, that's fine. So this right here was originally the golden pocket region and we have busted down below it. However, we came back here and retested the capitulation candle uh, level. Uh, as you can see, we came back in here. Um, it's, it's not unrealistic to assume that this to here is just one massive range we've been in for the last, uh, ever since the 19 May. And if we are in this range, there is something very interesting that I want you guys to take notice of. So we have the start of the range right here. We came to the top of it, dropped back to the, to the, uh, the bottom side of the range, came back up, hit the top of the range again. And then we came back down here, swept the capitulation candle, and now we're coming in for a retest. Now, I know it's really hard for me to do this on mobile, but if you go to uh, internet, if I find real quick, I have something pulled up. Oh, here it is. This is the Wyckoff, uh, the Wyckoff accumulation schematic. And this looks really, really damn similar to what we're looking at right now. So yesterday, or a couple days ago, we had the spring right over here, and then we have the retest. So spring and test. So if you go back over here and you can see, this is a spring, it went back below it, came back up, and now we came for a retest. And so far, as you see, we actually have had a pretty decent reaction off this retest so far. So could this be the accumulation pattern ending? It's possible, guys, it's possible. I'm not definitely an expert in, in Wyckoff patterns at all, but this is definitely something that it matches up with this so well that, you know, maybe this might be it. So right now we'd be in, in phase C and we're about to go into phase D and which would mean we're then gonna be going to phase E, which means a continuation of the upside. Uh, also, um, with Elliott wave theory, it makes it seem like this could be just one massive wave four. And then all this, oh, the massive wave four uh, for the larger macro structure. So this would be the third right here, come back down here, and this would be the fourth before a continuation of the upside like you see there. This is all very possible. So um, the, the charts don't look great, guys. They really don't. Um, but we do have this, this, bullish, this bullish divergence on the daily. We have this Wyckoff accumulation pattern. And then we also have the Elliott wave theory that's showing this as a very legitimate fourth wave. So overall, I'm still cautiously bullish. I still think that the overall market structure looks okay. Um, yeah, and, and I really wanna see this hold and continue, and continue upside. So how do we know if this is actually accumulation pattern? Realistically, we don't, we won't know until we get above like 42,000. So once we get above 42,000, then we can definitely say, yes, this was an accumulation pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, I'm not selling any position at this point. I'm not doing anything to de-risk at this point. Um, I think that there's enough, there's enough evidence here to at least give me some decent confidence that this is going to continue upside. Now, some coins that are holding up really well is H bar. And I told you a couple days ago how incredibly bullish I am of this chart. Now we did, we did crash since that video, but we've also reclaimed this, I believe a 12 hour level. Yeah, we got back above and closed back above this 12 hour level. And now we're retesting again, this, uh, this falling trend line. And we have a tremendous amount of volume right now. So overall guys, I'm still bullish on H bar. We haven't actually, it hasn't played out the way I'm hoping so. However, my bias is still there. We're still, um, I want to say we're still holding it. If not, we're still really, really close to holding. Yeah, we're below it right now, but it's still holding as support on the three day RSI. So this still looks really, really good. And H bar as a whole has been holding up extremely well on this dump. So H bar looks good. Um, let's look at XRP real quick. XRP is holding up pretty nicely as well. Not great, but it is holding up. Um, yeah, guys, like in general, I, I just, it's really hard for me to be too bearish at this point. 
I think that we're due some sort of a decent relief bounce. Okay, and even this is holding up. So e, uh, EOS also looks pretty decent, still hovering above this line. Now, the more times this line gets, re this falling trend line gets retested, the less likely it is to hold. But as of right now, I'm still pretty, I'm still okay with it. I, I am, guys. Like, and I, I think that if we do start seeing some upside on, on Bitcoin, the rest of the market will also continue. So maybe I'm in denial. I guess it's possible. But trying to think of this objectively, it, it looks like we could have some some relief in coming and uh and we we might this might be the bottom or damn near close to it i'm oh man it's just really hard for me to say that this that we're just gonna utterly collapse right through whenever we are holding it so well the elliott wave theory is still intact the wyckoff accumulation pattern is still intact we still have the bullish divergence on the daily level um there was a lot of volume on the uh, on the sweep yeah there was a lot of volume on the sweep the only issue I'm having right now, you see the massive amount of volume. The only issue is we haven't had the follow through yet. And this might be the start of the follow through. So what I'm looking for, for confirmation that this is actually going to have some follow through is some pretty damn good upside. And the most important thing, I want to see some damn volume. That's the one thing that's been holding us back this entire time. Just like on this increase right here, even though we are going up, we still did not have the volume I was hoping so, uh, hoping for. This sweep had really good volume, but the rest of it, just nothing. Like you can, you guys can see, there's just no real volume in comparison. So have some volume pop in and I will get super bullish. As of right now, I'm cautiously bullish. Uh, I'm still leaning bullish, but man, it's just, God, it's, it's been one hell of a bear market for the last few weeks. So um, I, I, th I think the downside is limited, but you know, if, if who, who knows at this point? So. I'm still in all my positions. I'm not lessening. I'm not de-risking. And I, I, I'm still pretty confident that we are going to keep going up. So that's what I got, guys. If you have any questions, like always, let me know. And I will see you on the next video. Deuces, boys.